Hi, my name is David Bonvillain. I'm with Halcyon, and I wanted to give you a quick demo today of the Halcyon anti-ransomware software. So what we're looking at here on the screen are two virtual machines, both installed with an industry-leading EPP, uh, configured in a comprehensive configuration according to the vendor's policy, where it is taken over as the local Windows antivirus and file quarantine is, in, is enabled. And what we have on the right is the same configuration with the Halcyon anti-ransomware agent installed. You can see it there um, in the little shield on the right and as well as in the driver list here at the bottom with the kernel driver enabled. And so we have 10 samples here that were bypassed in our testing all of the uh, various EPPs that we tested against. And they had varying levels of success depending on if they were online or offline. But ultimately, in the case of ransomware, any of them getting through that are actually effective um, can create a catastrophic failure. And that's what we're trying to avoid, obviously, on the Halcyon side. So um, this here is the JCrypt Poison ransomware variant. Um, it came out uh, in the summer of last year, I believe. And this is Medusa Locker. Medusa Locker has lateral movement capability and file exfiltration. Um, and this is the Atom Silo. Atom Silo was uh, released in October of last year and was known to take advantage of the Atlassian Confluence vulnerability. And we can see them running there in the task manager with the CPU maxed out. And on the Halcyon side, uh, we can just fire off the same variants. And these are getting detected in this case, uh, pre-execution and ultimately with the Halcyon tool, uh, once it would get detected by any of the deeper engines, it would automatically update pre-execution accordingly anyway. Um, but uh, you can also see we, uh, besides just the little alert, it sends a message over to the Windows Messenger um, and we can just go through these same ones. Um, you can see the activity on the screen to the left that that machine has already been compromised uh, in the time that it just took us to fire these off. So you can see the alerts there in the messenger. And then we can go over here and take a look. That's the JCrypt Poison uh, ransomware splash screen. And uh, this is the Medusa locker and the files that it, it has encrypted accordingly. And then you can see the new file here. That's actually the dropper splash screen from the Atom silo, but we can also just confirm in documents real quick um, that everything now is .poison and .atom silo. And then we can take a look at the readme file. That's the Atom silo splash screen. And just a quick look at the user interface, um, basic dashboard information, and uh, devices, events, and even within um, the individual events, we do have the ability to unblock uh, system information, operating system, and if an EPP is installed, uh, what the configuration on that is, as well as the ability to grab the agent directly from the UI. And that's it. Thank you very much for your time. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Have a great day.